Well, millions of people are quitting their jobs as part of the great resignation, and that means there will be plenty of job openings and applications submitted this year. And with those applications comes an old scam just wrapped in new packaging. ABC Action News reporter Rochelle Aline shows us why cybersecurity experts are now warning about fake job postings you may not see coming. New year, new job, new scam? Well, sort of. There's always a huge amount of typos, right? They hardly ever reference their web page because they don't have one. That's Haywood Talcove, the CEO of LexisNexis Special Services. We help stop fraud. We help catch bad people. And we enable digital government to allow for equitable access to government benefits. He says people creating fake job postings isn't new, but at a time when so many will be applying for jobs, he adds that scammers are switching up their tactics and going as far as setting up virtual interviews to trick you. They show up on Zoom. Uh, they don't have it as live video. And they ask you a couple of questions. And um, the next thing you know, you get an email saying you've been selected for this wonderful job. In that follow-up email, he says crooks will ask for things like a copy of your license, social security number, banking information, and more. And they'll claim it's part of the onboarding process. They then use that data that they gave you to go steal benefits from state governments like Florida. Talkov says you should never provide personal information to a hiring manager you've never seen or met. And he adds that only payroll or human resources would need that information. If you need help figuring out if a job you applied for is legit, a quick phone call can help you out. What I always tell consumers is when they get that job offer, what you want to do is you want to call up the main number of the company and then get transferred to the individual. That will immediately tell you if it's a fraud. In Tampa, Rochelle Aline, ABC Action News.